Greetings, I am Sergio Sanes Kefalidis. This is the third time that I'm recording this video. Uh, the first time I wasn't recording my voice. The second time I had a really terrible uh, mic quality. I hope that that is fixed right now. Uh, I'm unfortunately recording from my laptop because my PC upgraded a bunch of things. It was probably GNOME 4's fault. So some of the things that I want to show you aren't working. Like they're not like, it's not like they are, they should be misbehaving. They are just plain not working. So there is something weird with the dependencies and stuff. So let's see which one. I have two things to show you. Shared thumbnail repositories and the improved search functionality. Shared thumbnails first. Let's go to the pictures folder. Oh, new screenshot, delete that. Oh, okay, yeah, I could have not deleted that. It, it might have been useful. So I have three pictures here, and we ha they have thumbnails, as you can tell. If I zoom in, they have thumbnails, right, right. So go, I go here, and there is a folder called .cas, which has the thumbnails. If I go here, go here, no thumbnails, right? There is a thumbnails folder. It was created because I had that screenshot. Why are there no thumbnails for the other three pictures? because they are be, the thumbnails are being loaded from this folder right here which is the shared thumbnail repository for the pictures folder you could have the shared thumbnail repositories for whatever folder you like so what do these do these are pictures that instead of creating new thumbnails for your personal repository your pc is using this why is this useful Imagine that you have a very large external hard drive, like hundreds of gigabytes with a bunch of photos in there, and you use that in many different PCs. So every time that you connect it in a new computer, it needs to calculate all the thumbnails from the beginning, which takes a lot of time if you have thousands of pictures, especially if your PC isn't that good or new. The other advantage or the other problem is that normally you would have multiple copies of these thumbnails for each of uh, your, the computers that you're using, like I connected to computer A, it has a copy of the thumbnails. I connected to computer B, it creates thumbnails. Computer C, thumbnails. Or if you have different users in the same computer that if they use different home directories, they can't access the, the thumbnails. So every user creates the thumbnails from the very beginning. So this is what Sarah Thumbnail Repository sold. It's a feature that very few programs support and even though it is part of the free desktop.org thumbnails uh, standard specification uh, but hopefully more and more programs will support it so that's one thing that makes uh, the thumbnail specification um, like the implementation of the thumbnail specification pretty complete i believe i don't think that we have missed anything so the other thing that i want to show you is the improved Search functionality. So let me build that branch really quickly. Nice. My mentor told me to use uh, more than one thread, and he's right. So do this. Okay, now I am in the Thuner folder, normal. And you can see a new button here. I can press Ctrl F or I can press this button right here. And now I can search for things in this folder. Uh, I wrote Steven and there is no file called Steven in this folder. Um, if I right click and open item location, I go to the pictures folder. So what does this do? Let me write Thuner this time. Right, a bunch of Thuner files which do exist in this folder. So um, Thuner is searching this the current folder and it will also be searching a various uh, the directories recursively until a limited depth like five, six, seven, you will be able to use a preference to change that. So it is searching the current folder and the recent location, the recent database. It's searching these two locations. So you can find, with this feature, you can find files that either you use recently or you, you know roughly where they are. It does not aim to replace catfish because let's like Tuner plus a uh, dust window. So if I write this and I don't have any results that I expect, I can press show more and that's where catfish comes in and you can 
Thuner tells Catfish to search for Thuner Dust window and you can file what you want and you can show in file manager. My file manager is Nautilus, so it opens that, but you get the idea. So this improves both uh, the ease of use of Catfish from Thuner and also makes Catfish not necessary to search when you want to search for simple things. Uh, if you want to search the old way, which wasn't very intuitive and was limited to searching the current folder, and as I've said, you will be able to search recursively. So if I search something here, it will also search .git, .idea, .autumn .docs, example, icons, m4, plugins, pro, everything. Um, and the thing is that if you want to do the, you want to search the old way, you can just write and the it pop up will appear and do what it did. Like, yeah, you use the arrows to search for stuff here. The new thing, when you only want to search in the current folder, it filters the view, so it's a bit more intuitive. So that's it. Goodbye and have a nice day or night, depending on when you are watching this video. These two things are the last two big features that were in my proposal for this year's Google Summer of Code. I am waiting for your feedback and any suggestions on improving this. Naturally, there are various small features like if I write here, the name changes and you can change tabs while searching and stuff like that. If I go here and delete this, if I delete the space, it reverts the view, stuff like that. So I'm waiting for your opinion on these features. And that's it. Goodbye, have a nice day, and see you around.